Well, today is Juneteenth. The day commemorates June 19, 1965, when the last enslaved African Americans finally heard about the abolition of slavery two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Celebrations and parades took place all over our country and even outside of the U.S. And here in Southern Nevada, people got together at Craig Ranch Park today to celebrate Juneteenth. 13 Action News reporter Alicia Patillo takes you inside the festivities. Today is about honoring and remembering our ancestors who fought for equality and freedom. Juneteenth, a mashup of June and the number 19, became one of the oldest known celebrations in history. The 155th year old holiday commemorates the day in 1865 when enslaved people of Texas finally learned they were free. Let us march on to victory. The news came two and a half years after then-President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. When the Civil War ended, Union soldiers traveled to Texas to tell enslaved people that slavery had been abolished. Our youth need to know our history and where we came from and the struggles. The holiday holds significance for many people as civil unrest against police killings of unarmed African Americans continues throughout the country. People are pushing for the recognition of Juneteenth because it represents a moment within black history that is very relevant for how we understand the circumstances today. Several organizations around the valley held celebrations in honor of Juneteenth, including some at Craig Ranch and Lorenzi Park. Texas was the first to declare Juneteenth a legal state holiday back in 1980. This week, state leaders across the country have brought Juneteenth to the forefront in light of recent racial injustices. New York and Virginia have now followed Texas in making Juneteenth a paid holiday. And we are told that a Juneteenth flag will be shown on the side of the City Hall building for the next three days. Alicia Batillo, 13 Action News.